traditionally anatomy is one of those classes that everybody freaks out and it's your very first semester of vet school and it's one of the hard classes you know and it's one of those it's a big stress thing for a lot of people but having built it from the inside out when we got there you know and you're starting basically in vet school from the outside in because you're using cadavers and all of that it's like you open that up and it's like you can actually visualize everything that's already there so in vet school, everything comes from dissection. So obviously that starts you from the outside working in, and it gives you more of a picture of what you're looking at versus the whole system. So, and that is important because, you know, in surgery and all of that, that's really are what you're getting. You're getting the snapshot of the area. But having had the background of building everything from the inside out, then when you're looking from the outside in, if everything makes sense, because you've already seen those, you've already built them, you obviously already own them, and by building them, you know, in vet school traditionally how people learn it is you memorize the origin, the assertion, and the function, which by being able to build it, you own it, like you've actually built the muscle itself, and all of that stuff just comes naturally because you see the attachment sites, and then just with simple physics, being able to see which way that's going to move. So it takes out the rogue memorization of it all, and it's there, and you have your own body to be able to then use, you know, it's like you have a built-in cheat sheet. You get in there and they have the test where you have the specimen laid out and the little pin in it and you have to, you know, either say the name of the muscle or the function or both, you know, and it's like you can feel that on your own body and then be like, oh yeah, I know that. You know, so it's, well, it's a way to know instead of memorize and purge.